Okay, so this is the final exam for essential Tana skills. There's no actual exam, but this is where everything's building because for me, this is the fundamental super tag relationship. I like to say it's a fundamental Lego block for me in Tana. If you understand this relationship, most of what you build into dashboards or into related content or wherever you, most of the structure that you capture in Tana that reflects the work that you do in the way that you think, will be built with this basic pattern or some little variation on it. So essentially, as you're creating super tags and adding fields, you want to be thinking about how you want that information to be surfaced in searches. Because um, you always want to make sure you have a way to surface any information that you capture, which means you want to kind of build searches that connect to the super tags and fields that you're using. Now, in Tana, the beautiful thing is it is possible to just search immediately for some information in the moment. But as you're putting together your systems, as you're assembling the way you want Tana to, to work for you, there's going to be certain things that, you know, you want to be available, um, you know, at any time. You could go and find them or you want to surface to you at particular times. And if you think about how you want to see that information in searches, um, determining how the relationship between the super tags and fields works um, will be very valuable. The key relationship, this fundamental super tag relationship, this fundamental Lego block is when two super tags relate to one another, there's a consistent way to model it. A field in the super tag where you'll probably really be capturing information that is based on, it is connected to a search in the super tag where you'll primarily, primarily be surfacing information. And also if there's a one to many relationship, like one project has many tasks, one author wrote many books, you want to put the search in the one super tag. So the search would be in project and the field in the many super tag, the field would be in tasks. The search would be in author. I want to search for all the books by that author. Um, and in, I would put, you know, the field for who is the author of this book inside the book super tag. So you've seen some of this built already. This is not brand new. You've seen me build this. I'm just make crystallizing this pattern so you can recognize it. So book and author are related. Um, I'll be capturing more books uh, than authors. So an author field in the book super tag, a book search in the author super tag. Task and project are related. I'll be capturing tasks more often than projects. So a project field in the task super tag and a task search in the project super tag. And I'll show you, I'll do one of the examples so you see this in more detail. A discussion point and a person. I'll be capturing more discussion points uh, than people. So I'll have a person field in the discussion point super tag and a topics to discuss search in the person super tag. Thinking about the capture and surface and also thinking about the one to many, as I said already. I'm likely to have one person will have many discussion points, then one discussion point would have many per people. It's possible that one discussion point have, could have multiple people, but it's more likely to go the other way. So this pattern extends to any capture surface relationship. If you want a dashboard of different task views like we built uh, in the last video, um, if you want video uh, fields or two videos, okay, I guess, if you want fields in the task super tag, um, to you want fields in the task super tag to capture that information and searches in the location where you want the information to surface. So that may not be creating the search in the other super tag, but it's still the fields allow you to capture and the searches allow you to surface. So let's look at these exercises. I'm going to do this first exercise for you. Okay, so you can see this. I'm going to create two super tags, employee and company. So let's create employee. And I'll not even put my little extra thing on there and we'll create company. Okay, so since employee is a type of person, configure it so employee extends person. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. I'm going to say employee extends person. Sorry. Did I not create person here? I don't have, I haven't created a person here. So don't worry about that. <laughs> You've created person in your exercises. I just haven't built that in my own. So, but, but an employee is a person. So that'll extend that. Now I want you to think about the relationship between employee and company. Now you wouldn't necessarily say an employee has a company. You'd probably say a, a company has employees still, even though that sounds like that's the field relationship, I would suggest that the one, the, there is a one to many relationship here. You're going to have one company and many employees. So because of that, I'm going to put the search inside company, a list of employees, and I'm going to put the field inside employee. So let's go to the content template. I'm in employee right now. Let's create ourselves a field called company. And we will make this 
a options from super tag and we'll use that company super tag we just created for that so now we have a field inside company let's go ahead and call this joe smith and the company will be smith consulting okay so we have those we now have a field inside employee and i can connect this to smith consulting okay so that connection is made what i want then is a search inside company that leverages that information so i'm going to do it in related content and i'll say employees we'll say search and we'll say i want to see any employee where company is parent and having created that relationship now when i go into smith consulting i will have joe smith listed as an employee if i want to add more employees i can add them right here in the search let's say mary jones is an employee she was created on the daily node um, but for this workspace so she doesn't appear here but she is listed in here and if i were to take mary you can see she's set up with smith consulting if i were to create another company here let's say uh, uh jones consulting <laughs> and i wanted to say you know what no let's move mary to that company instead i'll open up here and we'll put uh i won't do it from here i'll have mary open here in the smith consulting and we'll move her over to jones consulting instead which means she'll disappear from here you see the cleanup she's no longer in smith consulting but when i go into jones consulting you'll see mary jones is there now this is the relationship and that's how easy it is to build i built it that quickly this whole video including all my description is isn't even seven minutes yet okay that's how easy it is to build so you do the other two here um you do the other two exercises well do this one too follow what i just did but do the other two exercises exercise two and exercise three they're exactly the same they just use different uh different super tags um and thus you would create different field names and things like that but the relationship is the same and once you see that relationship in action the field in one super tag the search in inside another super tag to create that link you'll realize that the tasks that are in projects and tasks that are assigned to a person and the you know discussion points assigned to a person and all of these things um the sources that come from the books that you read and all of these things uh tend to be either that relationship exactly or something similar to it something that's a little bit of a variation on it that's your fundamental lego block in tana once you have it and everything that we did here in essential tana skills was designed to kind of lead up to this once you have that under your belt a lot of the complicated stuff that you see the dashboard layouts and the related content and all of that you'll understand it just boils down to a whole bunch of simple relationships and that's what i mean when i said at the very beginning of essential tana skills that the learning curve is not as high as you think it is if you can put together the skills that we've learned so far and get this fundamental lego block yes yeah, there's a lot more that you can do in tana there's a lot more advanced stuff we're not talking about this here in essential tana skills we're talking about if you can get to this lego block this piece this connection between super tags via fields and searches if you can get that down so much of the leverage that you receive in tana can be gotten just from that so i hope that that's been valuable for you go put this into practice with your essential tana skills